Hi, Redeemer. I'm Sarah Andrews, a licensed marriage and family therapist in town here. Hope you are all doing well. Um, yeah, I'm a therapist, but I've also taken on the role as a hair cutter or a stylist, a homeschooling mom of a third grader and a preschooler at this time, which has been quite a change in my world. Um, I don't know about you guys, but there is so much going on and um, I've really felt a shift since Easter in my caseload of clients and then in myself personally, just with um, the heaviness of the pandemic going on. And so one of the things I've been talking to clients about is how do we take care of ourselves in the midst of feeling um, just kind of low, maybe even a little hopeless, a little bit energy deprived, and um, just in the midst of social distancing and having more um, isolation from one another within church, within our families, on our streets, with our friends, and all the things that are going on. Um, a couple things that help me, and if you've ever seen me or heard me talk, you've probably heard this multiple times, is really focusing on five different things. Um, the first thing is getting good sleep. So a lot of us are just trying to survive all day and um, kind of scrolling in the evenings through social media more, watching more TV, maybe drinking more alcohol or um, eating more sweets and carbs, and it really affects how we sleep. If you're having trouble sleeping, I would really challenge you to try to find a sleep routine that works for you or maybe playing a game at night or reading a book instead of being on TV or getting some of those blue light classes. Um, they're pretty trendy and they actually work. Um, so thinking about good sleep. The second thing is eating throughout the day and drinking water. So, um, so human that we need to eat all day. We need to drink water. Um, if you're like me, you may binge drink coffee all day. And so that's been a real challenge to me is to get my water in. Um, and then making sure there's at least three meals, or if you're someone that intermittent fasts, maybe having a supplement in the morning just to regulate your blood sugar. Um, blood sugar helps us think clearer, feel better, um, blood sugar regulation. So getting those meals in, getting the water drunk throughout the day, or drink. <laughs> I don't know which one's right. Um, the third thing is moving our bodies. The more we move, the more we feel better because we're shooting serotonin and dopamine, getting endorphins in our brain that help us just feel really good. But moving our bodies also helps work trauma through our body. It helps us process feelings better. It helps us think clearer. And when I say move, I mean like 10 minutes of walking a day. If you are not going to go online and do a rigorous workout or go outside and do it or go for a 20 mile run, if you can move for 10 minutes a day, that would be awesome right now. The fourth thing is we are created for connection. If you can connect with other people, that would be so good for you right now. We are human, so we need our human side met with sleep, eating, drinking, moving, but we are also 100% spiritual and we need our souls to be met. We do that through connection. You can do that on social media. You can do that on Zoom, on Marco Polo apps. Seeing people's eyes is so important to create attachment with one another. And we need that now more than ever. You can meet with people online at church. You could meet with people, um, like I said, over screens. One of the things we've enjoyed in our family is playing games online with other couples. Um, super fun, super cheesy, but gives you a point of connection to check in with other people and be creative. Um, another thing I've seen people do, even this week, I got a letter from a friend, if you're comfortable sending mail, just with verses in it. Such a good way to connect and remind someone I'm thinking about you. Um, introverts need connection. Extroverts need connection. Check on your introverted friends right now. Um, that was something I was reminded of last night listening to a webinar. And something that's super important is just checking on your people or answering if people are checking on you. Um, so be mindful of that. The fifth thing, connection with God. We can do that online through church. I love the Facebook group of the five-day scripture writing challenge. Great idea. You can connect with God that way and with other people. Um, that way, being in the word, if you are not someone that sits down to connect with God, turn on the worship music. Um, yeah, such a good way for God to speak, for God to be present and to calm thoughts um, through worship music. So just a couple things to encourage you. 
We are totally all in this together. It is, it is hard, but it will be okay. And if you do not feel that way, if you're really struggling, reach out. I would love to connect you with a counselor in town that could help you. Thanks so much. Praying for you guys.